Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Jeremiah 17 verses 7 to 8. The Lord bless thee, and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. Numbers 6 24 26. Grant thee according to thine own heart. And fulfill all thy counsel. Psalm 20 verse 4. Commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thoughts shall be established. Proverbs 16 verse 3. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians 4 verse 19. And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless thy bread, and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Exodus 23 verse 25. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Psalm 34 verse 8. In that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Deuteronomy 30 verse 16. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 2. Bless them which persecute you, bless, and curse not. Romans 12 verse 14. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. And whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. Proverbs 16 verse 20. Oh how great is thy goodness! Which thou hast laid up for them that fear thee. Which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee. Before the sons of men. Psalm 31 verse 19. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. Philemon 1 verse 25. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. Luke 6 verses 27 to 28. Not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. 1 Peter 3 verse 9. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Galatians 5 verses 22-23 And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 and it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. The blessing of the Lord, it mocketh rich. And he addeth no sorrow with it. Proverbs 10 verse 22. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. 3 John 1 verse 2. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. Matthew 5 verse 6. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Philippians 4 verse 23. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies. 
and that seek Him with the whole heart. Psalm 119 verse 2. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called the children of God. Matthew 5 verse 9. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant, thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things, enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Matthew 25 verse 21. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Malachi 3 verse 10. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil, for of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Luke 6 verse 45. Mercy unto you, and peace, and love, be multiplied. Jude 1 verse 2. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Psalm 1 verse 1. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hind's feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places. Habakkuk 3 verse 19. For the Lord thy God blesseth thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over thee. Deuteronomy 15 verse 6. Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which causeth through us thanksgiving to God. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 11. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel, and marrow to thy bones. Proverbs 3 verses 7 to 8. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, be with you all. Amen. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 14. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Psalm 67 verse 7. And I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in his season, there shall be showers of blessing. Ezekiel 34 verse 26. Blessed are the pure in heart. For they shall see God. Matthew 5 verse 8. Whoso findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And obtaineth favor of the Lord. Proverbs 18 verse 22. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Psalm 29 verse 11. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Joshua 1 verse 8. Now the God of peace, that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. Hebrews 13 verses 20-21 For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Psalm 149 verse 4. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalm 34 verse 1. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Revelation 22 verse 21. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, and his commandments, and his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. 1 Kings 2 verse 3. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof.
Proverbs 18 verse 21. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Psalm 3 verse 8. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 1 colon 7b. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord, and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Deuteronomy 10 verses 12 to 13. Blessings are upon the head of the just. But violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Proverbs 10 verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. John 20 verse 29. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And the people whom he hath chosen for his own inheritance. Psalm 33 verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Exodus 20 verse 12. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Matthew 5 verse 4. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. James 1 verse 25. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands, and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them, and carried up into heaven. Luke 24 verses 50 to 51. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. James 3 verse 10. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings, yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Malachi 2 verse 2. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Proverbs 2 verse 7. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Psalm 31 verse 16. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of thy life shall be many. Proverbs 4 verse 10. The memory of the just is blessed. But the name of the wicked shall rot. Proverbs 10 verse 7. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 1 verse 3. If ye walk in my statutes, and keep my commandments, and do them, then I will give you rain in due season, and the land shall yield her increase, and the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. Leviticus 26 verses 3 to 4. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Psalm 118 verses 25 to 26. What is man, that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man, that thou visitest him? Psalm 8 verse 4. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends, also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Job 42 verse 10. Blessed are ye, when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil, for the Son of Man's sake. Luke 6 verse 22. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake, and the gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time, houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, 
and in the world to come eternal life. Mark 10 verses 29-30 And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them houses. Exodus 1 verse 21 Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Psalm 32 verse 1 Behold, happy is the man whom God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Job 5 verse 17 And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because that Abraham obeyed my voice, and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Genesis 26 verses 4 to 5. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He mocketh me to lie down in green pastures, he letteth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul, he letteth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord for ever. Joel 2 verse 26 and ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Galatians 6 verse 9 And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. Ecclesiastes 5 verse 19 KJV Every man also to whom God hath given riches and wealth, and hath given him power to eat thereof and to take his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of God. Thou shalt keep therefore his statutes, and his commandments, which I command thee this day, that it may go well with thee, and with thy children after thee, and that thou mayest prolong thy days upon the earth, which the Lord thy God giveth thee, for ever. Deuteronomy 4 verse 40. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Genesis 2 verse 3 Oh, that there were such an heart in them, that they would fear me, and keep all my commandments always, that it might be well with them, and with their children for ever. Deuteronomy 5 verse 29 For thou, Lord, wilt bless the righteous. With favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. Psalm 5 verse 12. Unto you first God, having raised up his Son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Acts 3 verse 26. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Genesis 1 verse 28 Blessed are ye, when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely, for my sake. Matthew 5 verse 11 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man, the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. 2 Chronicles 27 verse 6 So Jotham became mighty, because he prepared his ways before the Lord his God. Psalm 127 verses 3 to 5 Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them, they shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Habakkuk 3 verse 19 The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places. To the chief singer on my stringed instruments.
Psalm 81 verse 10. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Philippians 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Proverbs 10 verse 7. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot.